Hey Ben, so have you heard back from tour? Have you heard anything? No. Actually, Willie said that the promoters are nervous about the guy showing up late. Are you serious? And that's bad. So we're just waiting for the promoter to just give us the go on the tour? At this point, I already did everything I could to sell him. So I'm just waiting for a yes or a no. The crazy thing is I told these guys the consequences of being late and they don't, they don't understand it right now. No, I know. It's like they don't get it. I told them so many times, it's to the point that they don't even hear it anymore. Wow, I mean, even besides that, I feel like they need help. You've done everything that you could, I've done everything I could, and I'm literally like, I don't know. This is Dr. Patrick, brother. We need a doctor now. Why? Well, he's trying to say we crazy. I sense that there's some pain for you. Something's happened in your life that's created a lot of pain, and you're still angry about it, and you're angry at the world. So what's happened in your life? Who hurt you, or what happened? You know what? what? Why don't you call Steven? I gotta talk. What's weird this time is that he didn't say why. It's not enough that I want it to happen. I really need the guys to be on the same wavelength as me right now. Muchachos, what's up? So I hired a celebrity life coach to come in and help these guys get their heads straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going? Good. Good. Nice to meet you. This is Dr. Patrick, brother. We need a doctor now. Why? Well, he's trying to say we crazy. I brought Dr. Patrick because he's a celebrity life coach. The coach? I stopped playing baseball a long time ago. Well, basically, I'm helping you get to your goals. With that said, Patrick, I'm going to hand them off to you, brother. All right, thanks, Mike. I'm feeling weird right now. I'm feeling this, this is crazy right now. This is the first question that I ask every new client of mine. So we'll start with you, Danny. What is it you want that you don't yet have? The big one touching people's hearts. This is what my passion is, music. All right, Steve, let's talk about you. What is it you want that you don't yet have? To be, you know, wealthy, very wealthy, rich power. Because I came up, you know, from nothing. I didn't have, all my family, we have nothing from the beginning. And I'm like the first one that has a little bit more right now. Tell me about what you felt and experienced as a child. Uh, we be here with no money, and there's a lot of struggle. We go to school with probably one pair of sneakers for the whole year, jeans, three jeans, and you got to mix and match. How did that feel? For you. That sucked. Got Thank me. you for being honest. <laughs> <laughs> it made me feel down. Basically, I want, uh, want this for me and for my family's sake. Ah, now that's and real for... motivation. In, when the awards happened, you were like really pissed off. That sucks, right? That. <laughs> that. So tell me about that anger you had when you didn't get the award. I was just pissed. As, the, as soon as you win that one award or anything, People get to see you, people get to respect you, and, and that's better. The right. respect. You wanted the respect. The fact that you didn't win the award doesn't mean the industry doesn't respect you, because you had to be respected to get nominated. So you've got to be grateful for everything you have. So even though you walk away disappointed that you didn't win the awards, you still feel good. I sense that there's some pain for you. Something's happened in your life that's created a lot of pain, and you're still angry about it, and you're angry at the world. So what's happened in your life? Who hurt you or what happened? Do you think it's possible that part of the reason that you guys have a challenge with being disciplined and showing up on time might be because you never actually had someone teach you that? Willie, what's up, brother? Talk to me, man. What's going on with the tour? I sense that there's some pain for you. Something's happened in your life that's created a lot of pain, and you're still angry about it, and you're angry at the world. So what's happened in your life? Who hurt you, or what happened? Well, my mom's passed away. How old were you? 
17. He just turned 17. How close are you to your mom? She was my mom, my only mother, and father and uncle, everything. So when she went, when she passed, what happened to you? I stood alone with my sister, because I had a younger sister too. So you looked after her? Yeah. And how do you feel about your mother passing? <clears throat> it sucked. I wish that happened to nobody. That's how bad it is. She's not seeing none of this. I'm not going home to her. I feel pissed off. I feel everything bad. Okay, thank you. You start to open up a little bit. And you're saying, I feel pissed off. Question is, who are you pissed off at? You know, what can I say? It has no fit. It has. I don't know, but I'm angry because my mum's not here, and my mum was my world. He was 17. Probably feels like he has nobody, like he's alone. Do you? I don't know how can I put it. Man, you're, you guys are songwriters, for God's sake. You yeah. can't tell me how you feel. <laughs> Man, do you know how many people have gone through your situation? Do you realize what you have to share with the world with that pain? You may not feel it right now, Steve, but one day you're going to be in a relationship with a girl, with a woman, and you, that pain's really going to come up for you. So, Danny, now it's your turn. So tell me a little bit about your family. You know, just a mom. So you had no dad in the picture? <clears throat> no dad whatsoever. Gone. Who was your role model, your male role model? Like, was it a singer? Was it an actor? I really didn't have a... a you know, a male role model, you know? My oh. Mom. Age 12 onwards is the beginning of manhood. That's when you really need the, the guy, yeah. the male, to be there and say, now I'm going to teach you what it means to be a man. So let me ask you this. Do you think it's possible that part of the reason that you guys have a challenge with being disciplined and showing up on time might be because you never actually had someone teach you that? That, that could be that could be true that could be correct all right so steve danny what do you say you guys ready to bring in ben now yeah let's, let's bring all right him. let's do it let's let's, let's bring, bring in ben him. it opened up my mind a little bit you know things he was saying you know made sense gotta give it to him i'm here to help you fulfill your goals that's what i'm here for but that means you gotta help me because i have goals too you're threatening my business in a lot of ways you threaten my business every time you show up two hours late i told you good point Imagine if your fans showed up late to your concert. I probably wouldn't even sing. I'd be like, what? <laughs> why? Why wouldn't you perform if I was a fan and I showed up late? Because I'm telling you what? I'm telling I don't care about you. You guys have such amazing potential, you just haven't seen it yet. He's not going to waste his time, his energy, his effort, his reputation, unless he believes in you. Yeah, we're sorry, Ali. I don't know it was like that. Yeah, but it, it was never, like I told you before, it's, it's never intended like that, man. They never did it intentionally. No one taught them to have structure, foundation, and responsibility. Everything you dreamed about will be yours when you give 100% of you, because the world will give you back 100%. It helped me, it definitely helped me. It made my mind a little stronger. It made me as a person a little stronger. Okay. You. Ben? All right, so, so we, we get some love in this room now, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we so, feeling the love? Yes. I think that they're going to remember this conversation that they had with Patrick. Despite our ups and downs, the fights, the lateness, I feel really confident that the guys are really ready to really take their careers to the next level. We ain't going nowhere. We going to you, people. <laughs> Extreme is here to stay. Definitely ready. Are you crazy? Do this.